Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will just doodle and have fun. In the tutorial of about two weeks ago, in which I gave different techniques for shading with ink, many of you told me in the comments that the one you liked the most was this doodle technique. So we will do more of that today with the addition of this spray bottle to give a special effect. You know that I always like to be experimenting. If we spray some water on the ink, it will drown a little bit and it may create nice effects or it may destroy the drawing. <laughs> I leave that up to you to decide. And it's ready. That was really fun to do. I will be making about five sketches today. Next, let's do an elephant. By the way, this is an excellent exercise to loosen the hand, and any serious art school will have your doodle. However, in recent times, many researchers have shown that it may give great benefits. And there is even a successful book called The Doodle Revolution. And some big companies are even hiring specialists to help their staff doodle. As described in the book, it turns out that doodling can free up memory, both short-term and long-term. It can also improve your general retention of ideas and concepts and increase your attention span. It can give you more creative insight. And generally, it expands your mind. Of course, it is also very helpful in working out new ideas. Okay, so in regards of how you should doodle, there are not really a lot of laws on how you need to do it because doodling should be very free and you should really do what you want to do. <laughs> but generally speaking, the idea is to do it very loosely, with not a lot of thought to it, with no worries, trying to do a continuous flow, so not lifting the pen or pencil off the paper too much and without regard to detail. It looks pretty simple, and that is because it is pretty simple. <laughs> I think that's the easiest way of sketching. It is so simple that we all did it when we were about three. <laughs> this is really fun. Let's do another one. This time I will do it a little bit differently and start with some mood lines or action lines. That's a ballerina, and now we doodle on top of them. We construct the shape on top of our lines as opposed to the other examples where I started just doodling out and building the shape and volume as I went. If you spray the water from one side of the paper, you may control the direction of the splash to give more movement to the drawing. Okay, let's do a last one. I can doodle all day, but let's wrap it up with this one. I want to do a dancer, a sort of hip hopper, who is really enjoying his dance. As we say, the doodling has no detail, but we should be able to capture the essence, the personality and the mood of our subject. We started doing it a bit even, a bit flat, and now we go over some areas again to create the shadows and the volume. It's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.